The settlement lay on a small group of islands between the Venetian Lagoon and the Brenta River Delta in northeastern Italy. It was probably founded by Illyrian pirates from the Croatian coast in the 3rd century BC and soon grew into a close-knit and autonomous farming and fishing community. Its self-imposed isolation from the neighboring villages deepened the aura of mystery surrounding its sullen population. The Illyrians called it Klodgia or Klugia, meaning foggy land. Their preferred boats were two-masted sailing vessels, such as those still used around the Venetian lagoon and along the Croatian coast to this day. Roman authors mistakenly assumed the village's name to be Claudia and associated it with Appius Claudius, the legendary founder of Rome's Claudia dynasty, and even with the fisherman Glaucus, born mortal and turned immortal upon eating a magical herb. Throughout its history, the town was accessible by land only through the south gate and by sea through the north gate. It stood on two main islands called Clugia Maior and Clugia Minor, respectively. Clugia Maior, the western island facing the lagoon and therefore better protected, was the locus of political and economic activity. Conversely, Klugia Minor, the eastern island exposed to the open sea, was employed for fishing and military purposes. It was repeatedly attacked by the Franks in 811, the Hungarians in 899, and the Genoese in 1379. Klugia Maior was finally liberated by the Venetians in 1380 and established a long-lasting relationship with Venice. However, Klugia Minor, plundered and razed to the ground and battered by severe storms, was swallowed by the waves at the end of the 14th century, and much to the survivors' dismay, it sank into the Adriatic Sea. From the early 13th to the late 20th centuries, Klugia Maior's economy was managed by five powerful families. In the 15th century, they developed the local fisheries and salt mines and restored ancient trade relations with the coastal town of Croatia. In 1419, the adventurer Nicolò de Conti left his home in Klugia Maior and sailed eastward to explore Asia and Africa. He returned home in 1444 with tall tales of exotic places, but was instrumental in helping Venetian cartographer Fra Mauro make his famous map of the world. In the 17th century, the valiant inhabitants of Klugia Maior were able to reconstruct the foundations of Klugia Minor and return the sunken town to its original condition. The new village, built on the submerged island reclaimed from the sea, was named Sotomarina, meaning underwater city. At the same time, Klugia Maior was renamed Kyoja. The urban area still features several churches and ancient buildings, including St. Andrew's Tower, which boasts the oldest working clock in the world, made in the mid-14th century by Jacopo Dondi and his son Giovanni, both expert astronomers and inventors. In the 16th century, Chioggia was home to a vibrant musical community led by three important musicians. Two of the best-known natives of Chioggia are naturalist Giuseppe Olivi, born in 1769, and mathematician Giuseppe Veronese, born in 1854. The outskirts of Chioggia and its outlying islands are dotted with a number of quaint fishing and hunting lodges, the largest and most popular of which is the so-called Zappa Lodge originally designed to be a manor house. 
As a matter of fact, zappa is the Italian word for hoe, as in the agricultural tool used for digging rows. Many celebrities stayed at the Zappa Lodge during their visit to Chioggia in the 20th century, especially Ernest Hemingway and Salvador Dali.